What's up guys, welcome back to TMNW Corp and today we are going to be doing our first ever bike customization and that bike in question is the Maibatsu Mancha Scout. So yeah, please sit back, relax and enjoy the video. And now that we're finally back at the auto shop, let's get on with the customization of the Mancha Scout. And well, of course, starting out, we're gonna go with armor all the way up, cause why not? And then after that, moving on to bodywork, let's see what we have. I can't really see any difference, but oh, okay, okay, okay. Look at the lights and the handlebars and whatnot. We're gonna go with the Mark III body paneling because it has a lot. And for brakes, all the way up to stop this, well, bike. And for engine, all the way up again because we need speed. And for exhaust, okay. Oh, I like the big board. Oh, the dual big board exhaust looks the best. So I guess we're gonna go with that because it looks super dope. And for the front mud guards, let's see. Oh, I like the saddle mud guard. I really like it when adventure bikes have a lot of stuff on them. So yeah. Horn and lights skip and livery, we're gonna go for respray. Wait, let's check the other options first. For panniers, I think we're gonna go with the double storage boxes because it looks the best. And then for the top box, let's see what we have. That looks okay. Ooh, the triple storage boxes, that looks fine. But I think we're gonna go for the triple storage boxes because it looks the best. And then moving on to transmission, we're gonna go all the way up because power and turbo again, same thing, so yeah. And then from there, we'll, we'll go on to wheels and we'll see uh, which wheel option we, we are going to choose. So let's see what we have. They all actually kind of look a bit weird and cool at the same time, if I do say so myself. When it comes to bikes, they all look kind of pretty weird, like honestly. Any, oh, the book, big spokes, they actually look really nice. I really like the big spokes, so let's see how they compare to the stock wheels. Not really that, that different, but they still have, you know, you can tell them apart. So we're going to go with that for both the front and the rear wheels. And now on to the wheel color. Let's see what to take. Well, we don't really know yet because we haven't chosen the color. So we'll just go for custom tires and bulletproof tires. And then from there, I guess we're going to go for the uh, respray. And obviously, I think so, we're going to go with matte because it will suit this bike a lot more than, let's say, metallic. So, yeah, let, I like the desert tan, but, ooh, grey looks good. But let's see the other col colors as well. I don't really like white. It's too bright. So I think so, we're just going to go with grey. I think grey looks the best, in my opinion. And I guess for the secondary color, let's see what we have. Oh wow, red is so bad. Black is also not that great, but I think white looks super good, especially frost white. So we're gonna go with that. Anyways, and now moving on to, I guess, the liveries finally. And well, 21 freaking liveries. Ah, that's a lot. So yeah, let's go through all the liveries and then, well, we'll finally choose one. Urban Warrior honestly looks the best so far. So yeah, let's check the others two though before we choose i like a lot of them but i think so urban warrior is the best according to me so i guess we're just going to go with the urban warrior because it just looks super super cool and then from there i guess we go on to wheels and wheel color and we'll decide between i think black and white so yeah let, let's see which one looks the best black looks cool but i think white looks better so yeah let's just go with white and well ladies and gentlemen i guess we are done with the customization of the mantra scout so yeah i guess i'm going to see you guys outside anyways now that we're outside this is how the bike looks and this is how it sounds And now that we're done with that, let's take it out for a spin. And well, let's continue with the review of the Mantra Scout. And so the Mantra Scout, as you can see, is an off-road adventure motorcycle. A pretty hardcore one at that too. So yeah, on, based on looks wise, it looks pretty dope after you've customized it, of course. But stock, it doesn't really look that great. Anyways, when it comes to performance, the Mantra Scout is actually an okay-ish bike. Like when it comes to the acceleration, it takes a while to get up to speed. So I'd say it's a bit decent when it comes to that. And well, when it comes to handling, it's not really that great, but it's okay, I guess, to use for free roam. Maybe not for racing. When it comes to racing, I'd say I would not recommend you to use this bike at all. 
but when it comes to free roam the handling I'd say is okay-ish. And when it comes to top speed, the top speed is actually very very high on this bike. But only if you do the wheelie of course. So when you're doing a wheelie on the bike and you try to hit its top speed, it's actually one of the fastest vehicles in GG Online. Land vehicles that is. One of the fastest bikes in the game. So yeah, based on that I'd say the top speed is actually amazing. But normally I'd say the top speed without the wheelie let's say it's really not that great it's actually kind of a bit poor so yeah i guess that's about it for the manchester scouts when it comes to on road now let's uh, go to off road and now on to the off road review and well when it comes to water and well anything related to water the manchester scout is honestly horrible every bike is when it comes to water it just gets stuck and gets destroyed but moving on from that, I will not be comparing it to a car as to say because when I compare this to let's say a drogger, the car will just win every time when it comes to off-roading. But anyways, apart from that, the Manchester Scout as compared to the other bikes, off-roading it's actually not that bad. It's actually kind of good. It can climb let's say almost anything you throw at it and it goes over bumps pretty well. But with all bikes, if you jump too high and you land on the ground, it will always result to you either falling off from the bike and dying or just dying instantly the moment you hit the ground. So be be careful, be wary of that. And I guess that is about it when it comes to the off-road review of the Manchester Scout. It's an okay-ish bike. When compared to other bikes, it's good. But when you compare it with cars, it's uh, really, really rubbish. So when it comes to off-road, I guess just get a car. But for just you know having fun and all i guess it's all right if you want to and for races it's not really that good so yeah that's about it for the off-road review of the manchester scout but before we go to the speed test let's have a look at some fails And now on to the speed test and the conclusion. And my conclusion is that the Manchester Scout is honestly a good vehicle. It's not really bad, but it's not also amazing. So it's basically in the middle ground. And on whether to get it or not, it's honestly up to you. If you're a competitive player, you really just want to win races all the time, the Manchester Scout is not really a vehicle for you. But if you're just a casual gamer, you just want to roam around, the Manchester Scout is super good. It's super fun. You can do stunts. It's super fast. You can do wheelies and it'll honestly take you pretty much almost about everywhere on the map so yeah based up on that i i guess it's now all up to you and as you can see the manchester scout is super duper fast it managed to do the first ever sub three minute in the channel so as you can see the manchester scout is just amazing when it comes to the wheelie top speed so yeah and I believe that is it for the video guys. Please do subscribe, leave a like and also leave a comment down in the comment section. This is TM and the Blue Corp signing out.